Well, I think we're starting to see a, a merging of, of fitness uh, and fitness activities and outdoor merging together with the consumer. It's essentially turning into one active consumer, and whether they're doing their sport in the gym or in the outdoors. Uh, and of course, we know that outdoor sports are urbanizing. We're starting to see rock climbing gyms. So we're starting to see those elements. And I think the, the desire for the people to be active, be it in the outdoors or in the indoors, we'll see a merging of the types of products uh, that the people are wanting to, to buy for the activities. The trail is expanding already for the last two, three years. Uh, and following the trail, I see a lot of uh, movement going to endurance runs. I run the 50 mile runs, I don't run runs, but uh, where the outdoor sector is a uh, great experience in making apparel, uh, which is necessary to do uh, the long runs. Yeah, to answer your question, I think uh, that will be the connection between fitness and, and the outdoor market. I think they had to kind of start to become one and the same, you know. CrossFit just isn't like what people do in a gym, this crazy workout. CrossFit means kind of cross-populating all of your fitness activities. I think that everything is becoming cross-purposeful. I think outdoor gear um, can be indoor gear. I think indoor gear becomes outdoor gear. I think they're sharing a lot of, certainly textiles, certainly a lot of the um, technologies that you just see in outdoor wear are making its way into regular sports wear. So I think in terms of manufacturing and uh, technologies, I think they really start to cross-pollinate. That's kind of cool. You know, a lot of people want one shoe or one garment that's going to take them everywhere, and I think you're, you're getting that. With the Racer can man indoor sport auch draußen betreiben. Bei uns kann man verschiedene Strecken abfahren, bis zu 20.000 verschiedene Strecken, über 150.000 Kilometer drin, draußen Radfahren. So basically what we can see is that especially on the fast forward sports and the auto industry we get some influences from the fitness uh, industry. For example, especially on tights and base layers where we are using a space of material for better visibility and this is influenced by the fitness industry in fact. So we, yes, we can see an influence uh, coming from uh, the fitness industry into the auto industry.